My name is Jonathan Way. I'm a wildlife biologist studying eastern coyotes on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I'm going to track some of our collared animals. We actually heard howling as we were setting up our equipment. Right now I'm radio tracking an eastern coyote in typical habitat. There's a number of houses that dot this neighborhood, but there's also some swampy woods about uh, 100 yards or so from where I'm located. I think it's important to understand the behavior of these animals living in urbanized areas. By doing this research, by radio collaring and tracking these animals over time, people can get an understanding of very simple facets of behavior that you wouldn't be able to collect without data such as radio collared animals like home ranges, territory, movement patterns, denning and rendezvous site behaviors. I think it was at 526 when we got her. She was medium strong. Self These notebooks are literally kind of my personal Bible of, of what I've done for the last 11 years. Um, the notebooks tell everything from individual coyote locations. There's a cake in the open. Animals I captured, traps I visited, where it was, when I caught an animal. It's a collared animal. And has a notch on the air. It looks like gas. I'm very close to my study subject. I feel like any biologist that's not passionate about what he or she does really can't get things done in the field. <coughs> okay, she's lactating. That's pretty obvious. You have very little financial support. Um, you're very often doing it in conjunction with a different job, whether it's being in graduate school, being a professor, teaching high school. That being said, I think it's inevitable for someone spending so much time on any animal to be attached to their study subjects. She was going to her snout. And so I think that naturally, over time, studying animals, sometimes for years on end, where we've captured an animal and we've given it another radio collar, you learn a lot about the subjects, but you also develop a bond. It, it's hard to, to, to think that you wouldn't have a rooting interest for your study subjects when you watch them over a period of years. Now, that doesn't mean the animals in the wild like me. They want to have nothing to do with me. But that also means that I'm tracking them kind of from the sidelines or more likely from my car, watching them cross the road at night or in the early morning. And all of those things allow me to look into their lives and, and learn all the things that we're learning about these animals. Most people think that coyotes live everywhere. And little do people know that these are the same animals, this particular pack, that also goes many neighborhoods away, five, 10 miles a night through travels. And it's a territory that they defend from other coyote packs. So people through our research can very quickly learn that there aren't coyotes everywhere, that they're actually territorial. They prevent their own overabundance. And by preventing their own overabundance, you can actually leave coyotes in an area and have them guard this area from other coyotes. Okay, she's gonna probably bolt out, unlike most of the coyotes. She uh, has a crowd of 20 people watching her. She's probably going to stop and look back. It's heavy. 